السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپس یو آل ول بی فائن دس از لیکچر سیون آف ویک فور ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹاپکس آف ہاؤ ٹو آپریٹ اے پی ایل سی ان دا فیکٹری اینڈ وی ول ڈسکس دا پرنسپلس آف آپریشن ان پی ایل سی یو کین ڈاؤن لوڈ دس پی ڈی ایف اینڈ اٹس ریلیٹڈ ویڈیو ایٹ پورٹل ڈاٹ سو ڈاٹ ایڈیو ڈاٹ پی کے سو وی ول اسٹارٹ آور لیکچر سو وی ول سوئچ ٹو دا نیکسٹ سلائڈ بفور گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس آور لیکچر وی ول ریویو دا پریویس لیکچر ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ دا فالوئنگ ٹاپکس ایز یو کین سی ان دا سلائڈ we have discussed about relay based control panel in which we have used several relays and connected them by means of wiring in order to develop some logics and the logics may be in the form of AND gate or OR gate the next topic we have discussed in the previous lecture was about PLC based control panel in which we have discussed a major role of PLC in the control panel we have connected the input and output to the PLC in the control panel the third topic was related to PLC advantages over relay logic which were increased reliability more flexibility relay cost communications capabilities fast response time easier to troubleshoot these were the few advantages of plc over relay logic we have discussed in detail in the previous lecture so we will switch to the next slide today we will discuss the following topics as you can see in the slide the first objective is typical pc software here we will view one plc software the second objective is about the problem of mixer process control which is used in the industry especially in the chemical industry process control the third objective is related to process control relay load ladder diagram we will develop ladder diagram using control relay for the mixer process control the fourth objective is typical wiring connections for modular configured input module the next one is typical wiring connection for modular configured output module it means that we will discuss about the input module and output module which is connected to the plc unit then we will discuss today about process control plc ladder logic program with typical addressing scheme typical wiring required to implement the process control scheme using a fixed plc controller relay ladder diagram for the modified process so these are the few topics which we will discuss today so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the pc software typical pc software of plc here you can see rs logics 5 this one is the name of pc software which is used for plc 
and you can use any software for PLC related to their manufacturer you can download PLC software from the Google as well and from their website as well some free simulators are also available in the internet you can download these free simulators from the Google here you can see there are some options available for the programmer for example file edit view search communication tools window help you can use help in order to program PLC so this is the environment which is called integrated development environment here you can see the normally open contact here you can see the normally close contact this one is also a normally close contact and here you can see timer which is timer on and here you can see timer off these are the few instruction of PLC which can be written in a typical PC software in order to control specific control application in the industry or factory so we will switch to the next slide we will discuss problem of mixer process control before going to design any PLC program we should know about the problem here the problem is mentioned which is about mixer process control what is the problem so problem is a motor mixer a mixer motor is to be used to automatically stir the liquid in a wet when the temperature and pressure reach preset values in addition direct manual operation of the motor is provided by means of a separate push button station the process is monitored with the temperature and pressure sensor switches they close their respective contacts when the condition reach their preset values this problem can be divided into two portion in the first portion you can see two sensor the temperature sensor and pressure sensor we will set the value of temperature sensor and pressure sensor to their required preset value these two sensor will control the mixer motor which may be single phase or three phase motor which which can be turned on automatically and this motor will stir the liquid which is contained in the container you can see the schematic process control diagram in the next slide and the second portion is we can control mixer motor by direct manual push push button station if we press the push button the motor will start run automatically and will stir the liquid in a wet the process is monitored with the temperature and pressure sensor switches they close their respective contacts the contacts may be in the form of normally open or normally closed when the condition reach their preset values so this is a problem related to mixer process control in the next slide we will see the schematic diagram of process mixer process control in which we have used mixer motor temperature sensor pressure sensor and push button station so we will switch to the next slide
here you can see the mixer process control problem here you can see the pressure sensor which is connected to this weight and here you can see the temperature sensor which has been connected to, the, to this container and in the upper side you can see the mixer motor which can be in the form of single phase or three phase here you can see the liquid which flows from the upper portion and is flowing towards the wet or tank here you can see the here you can see the manual push button station so the two sensor temperature sensor and pressure sensor these are the input and push button is also the input of this system and here you can see only a motor which is output of the system so if we concluded the result here we can see three input which are temperature sensor pressure sensor and manual push button station and only one output which is motor it may be or it may be a single phase motor or three phase motor but usually we use three phase motor in the industry so this is the pictorial diagram of mixer process control so after problem we have sketched we have sketched the schematic diagram of the process successfully so after this step we will switch to the next slide in order to write or design a program for this mixer process control problem so we will switch to the next slide here you can see process control relay diagram this is l1 you can see l1 and at the right side you can see l2 l1 behaves like a phase you may call it phase of the power supply and you may call it neutral of the power supply so the power will flow from the left side to the right side in this direction from left side to right direction and flow will also flow from top to bottom from top to bottom direction in foreign countries power supply or power in the industry may be ranges from 120 volt ac and here in pakistan we can use 220 voltage ac sinusoidal voltage v means voltage and ac means alternating current so you can use different voltage it will depend upon the voltage that may use in your home country here in pakistan we can use 220 so if you design this process control so we will apply 220 voltage ac so here you can see the two sensor the first one is pressure sensor and the second one is temperature sensor here you can see the schematic symbol of pressure sensor this is the schematic symbol of pressure sensor and this one is the schematic symbol of temperature sensor which is totally different from each other and here you can see the manual push button which is normally open here you can see the pressure switch which is also in the form of normally open and this one is also in the form of normally open each input have two terminal here you can see the pressure switch which have two terminal this is the first terminal and here this one is the second terminal here you can see the temperature switch 
this one is the first terminal and this one is the second terminal so these two switches pressure switch and temperature switch has been connected in series or we may call it in the form of and logic these two pressure sensor and temperature sensor has been connected in and logical form here you can see the two terminal of manual push button this one is the first terminal and this one is the second terminal so here we have connected the manual push button in odd form or we may call it in the parallel form to the end operation before the motor starter coil here you can see the black dot we have connected the manual push button here and one terminal has been connected with phase which is represented by L1 here the capital M represents the schematic symbol of motor we know that motor can be connected with starter coil motor starter coil you know that what is coil coil is an inductor if we pass some current through the coil or inductor an electromagnetic field will be created and hence the contacts will be closed or open it will depend upon the contacts of the motor starter coil here you can see the normally closed connection and the symbol OL represents overload so in this motor starter coil a temperature unit has been also connected in built-in so if temperature rises this will become open and motor will disconnect from the neutral of the power supply in this case the motor will not run so this is the process control relay ladder diagram if we press a pressure switch and temperature switch the motor will start on and it will stir the liquid in the wet if one of them is open either pressure switch is open or temperature switch open the motor starter coil will be in the state of off position because if any one of them is open it will not work in order to take work from the output here as you can see in the form of motor starter coil so we should switch on or turn on pressure switch and as well as temperature switch if both switches are turned on or closed so then motor starter coil will be turned on and hence in this case motor will stir the liquid in the weight but in parallel we have connected the manual push button as well if we press manual push button the motor starter coil will be also turned on so we have connected the manual push button in parallel with the sensor if any one of the sensor may be disconnected or may be faulty or may be become faulty so alternative so we have alternative control which is in the form of manual push button so in this in this area or in this case we can control motor starter coil using this manual push button so we will switch to the next light how to connect the pressure sensor and pressure sensor and manual push button to the input module of the PLC controller so in this diagram or uh, in this slide you can see the schematic diagram or pictorial diagram of input module and its wiring connection for modular configured input module
so this is the pictorial diagram here you can see in the slide here you can see the two terminal of pressure sensor the first terminal has been connected with the terminal one and the second one is connected with the temperature sensor and the second terminal of temperature sensor has been connected with terminal two of input module and here you can see the manual push button the first terminal has been connected with the temperature sensor pressure sensor and l1 which is which is phase in this case and the second terminal is connected with the input module of plc which is which is which is in number three and here you can see the common here here you can see the common terminal so in this case we can supply the uh, we can provide the power supply to the input module so this is the input module and its wiring connection for modular configured input module for plc in the next slide we will see the output module so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the output module which is configured here you can see the motor the first terminal is, has been connected to terminal 1 and in and, and this terminal is connected internally with L1 which is phase in this case and the second terminal has been connected with the neutral here you can see the overload temperature sensing mechanism has been connected with motor in series form so this is the power supply to the motor here in this case the motor is single phase as you can see here we have applied the single phase to the motor so here you can see the pictorial diagram of output module of PLC which can be connected in the rack of PLC we will switch to the next slide process control PLC ladder logic program with typical addressing scheme when we design ladder logic program so we will put the address to the each input and output in the system here you can see the pressure switch and we have given the address which is i which is i and one i means input one means number one input number number one and here this is input two which is represented by two and i represents the input so temperature switch is input number two and pressure switch is input number one and here you can see manual push button which represents input number three the ladder logic diagram is similar with the previous slide if we go to the previous slide here you can see the process control relay ladder diagram which is similar to ladder logic diagram but here you cannot see the address of this input pressure switch you cannot see the address of temperature switch and here you cannot see the address of manual switch and here you can not see the address of motor starter coil so in ladder logic diagram we, we will put address to inputs and outputs of the plc so we will go to the next slide where we was so we have given them some addresses input and output here you can see the output o means output one means number one so here output is only one so the address the address is o 
slash 1 here you can see L1 which represents the phase and L2 which represents the neutral so the power will flow from the left side to the right side and will flow from top to bottom here you can see the schematic symbol of pressure sensor this one is the schematic symbol of temperature sensor and here you can see the schematic symbol of manual push button these three inputs has been connected to the input module of PLC and here you can see the schematic symbol of motor which is single phase and this motor has been connected with the output interface of PLC and in the PLC we have developed this logic as you can see and this logic is according with the problem statement as we, as we have discussed earlier in the slide so if you can see the problem statement of this ladder logic program so I will switch back to the slide and will show you the problem statement here you can see the problem statement and for this problem statement we have developed relay diagram schematic diagram and then we have developed ladder logic diagram this one is the schematic diagram of mixer process control this one is the relay diagram or you may say, you may say process control relay ladder diagram these are the connections of inputs component to the input module this is the connection of output component to the output module of PLC and here you can see the PLC ladder logic program okay in this slide you can see if we press the run push button in the PLC the process will start it will first check the inputs and then it will check the program which can be executes executes control program and then it will transfer to the output and will updates the output and this process will be continued in a loop here you can see so this process is called PLC scan and this will repeat with the time every time it will check the input output and program execute and program execution so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the wiring diagram or with PLC here you can see the inputs of PLC and here you can see the output of PLC L1 and L2 is the power supply connection and I1, I2, I3 is the address of inputs in which we have connected the pressure sensor with I1 we have connected the temperature sensor with I2 we have connected the push button with I3 and we have taken common of one terminal of these inputs and we have connected this common with the phase and from here the voltage has been come and it will goes to the input here you can see the connection of motor the first terminal has been connected with this terminal and the second one is terminal connected with the L2 and here you can see the connection of L2 here and you can see the ladder logic diagram which is saved in the PLC memory we can program PLC by means of ladder logic program and software which is installed in the PC here you can see some PLC module which can be used to control some control operation in the industry but they are in different sizes and have different PLC memory you can use it accordingly to your problem 
and here you can see the manual you can also download the manual of PLC of each manufacturer like Siemens, Omron, Keynes, Samsung, V-Connect so these are the few PLCs so here we have designed a program we have connected the input output section for a specific controller so we call it fixed PLC controller because it is dedicated to a single control machine so we will switch to the next slide here you can see the relay ladder diagram for the modified process if we have connected the manual push button like this we have connected manual push button between pressure sensor and temperature sensor before this diagram we have connected manual push button after the temperature switch it means we have connected manual push button between motor starter coil and temperature switch here we we had connected the manual push button so if we modify the previous relay ladder diagram as you can see in the previous slide here you can see that we have connected manual push button between motor and start and temperature switch so if we connect if we disconnect this connection from here and we can connect this terminal between pressure switch and temperature switch in here in this region so we will change or modify the ladder logic program like this here we have connected very easily but in wiring case it is very difficult and the whole production will be stopped so this is why ladder logic or PLC based relay control process is very flexible and reliable so we will switch to the next slide so in the same case we have applied the addresses to the inputs and output here you can see the input i1 i2 i3 and 0 1 so here there are three inputs and one output so we have need only three input and one output control in a plc in order to control a process control operation in the industry so in this case if pressure switch is turned on or manual push button turn on so it is very necessary with this pressure switch and manual push button temperature switch should be on to turn on the motor starter coil if pressure switch is in contact of normally open or if it become open and if only we use a manual push button and temperature switch the motor starter coil can be turned on by here we can use the control of input which is manual push button and the control will pass here to the temperature switch and then it will goes to the motor starter coil and then finally goes to the neutral of the system so the path will be like this from here face to the manual push button and then temperature switch and then motor starter coil and then it will go to the neutral of the power supply so we will switch to the next slide okay guys thank you so much thank you for your attention allah hafiz